Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, um, I have been approached for several people making some questions and, and some of those questions are straightforward and very simple and others, uh, they, they, they are related with few things that not much people use, okay? Um, uh, what I will do is uh, I, I, I record this very short video just to show you a few things, okay? Um, uh, one of the typical situation is that people uh, think about Power Factory as a software that is mainly for transmission systems, okay? And um, um, however, uh, you must understand that Power Factory have capability to run power system analysis simulation. That means going into distribution level, for instance, low voltage distribution level inside uh, industry and so on. Okay. Um, as you must remember, I am using this classical five five bus system. Okay. And this is an example of uh, a distribution system. Okay. As you can see over here, when I run the load flow, um, this is a distribution system. We have here a voltage, a nominal voltage of 13.8 kV, okay? And it's coming here from this external grid, okay? We can, we can think about this like a distribution feeder, okay? Uh, however, mm, what typical question that people ask me is, okay, if you are using power factory for distribution systems, time to time using uh, megawatts, uh, it's it's quite big, okay? Because sometimes you are modeling a low voltage distribution feeder and you have a small loads, one kilowatts, two kilowatts, three kilowatts. And, and if you are using power factory uh, based on the default settings, the default settings say that the input is basically in megawatts, okay? And that is something that people want to change, okay? Uh, what I will do is starting with something very basic and then I will deal with that question, okay? I have been asked, uh, how do I change, how do I change uh, the representation, unit representation here at the result boxes, okay? Well, uh, the first thing that I will do is I will show you one way to change all the uh, numerical results, okay? Um, if you go, if you go here to a study case, okay, here we have the project overview, but you have the study case. If you use the right button, the sensible menu over there, you can see edit, and it's extremely simple, okay. Here you have the output variables, that is the basic data, and you can change the representation, for instance, for load floats and go to uh, kilo kilowatts. KVA, KVA and KVR, okay? If you look over here mm, and you refresh your results, now, as you can see, I changed the units and now instead of getting the numerical results using uh, megawatts, the traditional megawatts, now you can work with uh, just kilowatts, okay? And that is, that is a, a basic option, okay? You can do it here, right button, sensible menu, edit, and you can do that here. Or you can go here to view, uh, sorry, to edit, study case, and it's the same, okay? You can do the same over there. Another question that I receive a lot is that people would like to see more decimal places or less decimal places on the results, okay? And to do that, what you need to do is just edit. What you need to do is edit. You need to edit the um, format for H elements, okay? As you can see over here, the result right now is in kilowatts, KVR, and kiloamps. And I would like to show, for instance, the variable names. I would like to show equal. I would like to show the units. But instead of using one decimal place, I would like to show two decimal places, okay? Now, as you can see over here, I got the width, and now you can see that I am showing you P, active power in kilowatts, including two decimal places, okay? Um, but that doesn't solve another issue. Another issue that people ask me is, okay, but we have all the results now in kilowatts, but uh, the input data is still in megawatts, okay? Well, that, that change is extremely simple, okay? 
Now what you need to do is the following. Go to uh, Edit, go to Project Settings, okay? And if you go to Project Settings, okay, you must be careful here because if you make a, a change that is affecting your, your, your uh, calculations, okay? As you can see over here, we can make few changes, okay? For instance, um, for instance, uh, at the moment, the the units that we are using for every single device inside the system is basically metric units. What's happening if we use uh, English transmission? Okay, uh, and let me refresh here. I don't know if you realize, but now the input data is coming in miles the classical british unit miles okay but we can come back here again to project settings uh, sorry project settings and in project settings we can keep using metric system and if you go here to for the transmission line we have again the five kilometer okay what i am telling you is that using here the project settings you are able to change the configuration of the input data if you are working in industrial system or if you are working on a distribution system, probably you need you want to use the inputs as kilowatts or KBR or K. And as you can see over here, now double click and now Power Factory is showing the input data using kilowatts. OK, um, OK, now you are able to see result to, to to see the results on the output boxes using kilo uh, kilowatts and also now you are able to input the data using kilowatts okay that solves a lot of issue for the people at distribution systems and also on the industrial uh, companies okay finally i will just open the door for some discussions here we have the variables okay and as I told you, I changed here the input data. Now we are using input data as megawatts, okay? However, there are another things that I would like to show you here. For instance, uh, in this advanced calculation parameters, as you can see over there, there are a few things that not much, not much people know and also not much people put the hand. I don't know if you realize, but here in Power Factory, there is a parameter and this parameter is used for the apparent the base apparent power okay and as you can see here uh, s base is the base apparent power for this system and it's 100 mba i will not put more details over here i just i will just upload this video on youtube and see some comments about the base apparent power okay that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy and hopefully we will have a very interactive discussion about this apparent, this base apparent power. Thank you very much for watching the video. Bye now.